If you just got your dbrand Nexus 5X skin, relax. This is going to be easy. First, wipe your device free of dust and fingerprints. For optimal results, ensure you are under bright lighting. Note that your dbrand skin comes with six elements. Front, back, camera, frame, logo, and colored X inserts. A microfiber cloth is also included with your order to help smooth down the edges. You will require a hair dryer for this installation, so pause the video now and go grab one. Welcome back. Let's begin with the back piece. Note that there are options for full Nexus, X only, and no Nexus cutouts. The installation procedure is identical for all three. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown, exposing the camera, fingerprint sensor, flash, and laser autofocus. Begin by aligning around the flash and laser autofocus, looking to ensure that the fingerprint sensor is also lined up correctly. Don't worry about the camera for now. Aligning it around just the flash, autofocus, and fingerprint is sufficient. If you make a mistake, simply peel the skin off and give it another shot. Once aligned properly, use your fingernail to apply the area surrounding the fingerprint sensor. Next, apply pressure to the area next to and below the camera, leaving the area above it untouched. You'll now need to grab your hair dryer, heat the top of the skin, then tap down the area above the camera. Continue to apply pressure to the remainder of the exposed portion, working your way outwards. Using your microfiber cloth, rub the inner edge of the camera in order to make sure the skin stays stuck to the camera bump. Next, remove the 3M paper, rotate it 90 degrees, and reattach as shown. Turn the phone upside down and align with the 3.5 millimeter audio cutout. You may need to make slight horizontal adjustments to get a perfect fit. You'll know it's in the right spot when it looks like this. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portion and remove the 3M paper entirely. Smooth out the entire surface of the skin. Grab your hair dryer again and heat one of the four edges. Apply firm pressure to ensure that it stays stuck to the curved edges. Make sure to heat and apply pressure until you see that the material has formed around the curved border as shown. Once it looks good, repeat the process for the remaining three sides. Finally, let's smooth down the sharp edges. Grab your microfiber cloth and rub the edges of the skin 10 to 15 times. The friction will smooth down the border and make the skin feel like it's melting into the phone. Repeat wherever you feel the skin is sharp. At this point, you may notice that the Nexus cutouts aren't aligned flawlessly. Don't worry, this is normal. Every device to leave the LG factory has a Nexus logo in a slightly different position, making it impossible for us to have a perfectly aligned cutout. To remedy this issue, we include two sets of logo inserts free of charge with every order, one in black and one in white. Once the logo inserts have been put in place, you won't be able to see the misaligned cutout at all. To apply the logo skins, you'll need to peel out each letter, reattach it to the back of the 3M paper, then position it within the appropriate cutout. Press down with your finger on the exposed portion, pull out the 3M paper, then press the remainder of the cutout into place. Each letter needs to be attached to the back of the 3M paper differently. Shown here are the specifics for each letter. Pause the video here while you install the lettering. Note that if you purchased colored X pieces, you'll want to skip the X inserts. Welcome back. If you purchased colored X inserts, the procedure is identical. Just make sure you put each color in the correct quadrant. To apply the camera skin, use a D-Brand Prime Air Drum. Next up is the frame skin. There are three different pieces needed from this sheet. We'll explain what the extra two are for in a minute. Begin with the piece shown here, aligning around the power button. Continue to wrap around the edges without stretching. Next, 
apply the piece shown here. Align around the volume button and continue along the perimeter of the phone. There are three pieces available to fill in the remaining gap. Attempt using the middle piece first. If it's too small and you see a gap, use the piece shown here. If it's too large and you see an overlap, use the piece shown here. On the four corners, you may see small ripples. To get rid of them, simply heat up the corner and press down. Once the frame installation is complete, we're going to smooth down the sharp edges. Grab your microfiber cloth and rub the edge of the skin 10 to 15 times. This friction will smooth down the border and make the skin feel like it's melting into the phone. Repeat this technique wherever needed. All that's left now is the front skin. Remove the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Align the skin around the speaker and top edge. Once lined up perfectly, apply pressure to the exposed portion. Next, remove the 3M paper, rotate it 90 degrees, and reattach as shown. Turn the phone upside down and align with the bottom microphone. You may need to make slight horizontal adjustments to get a perfect fit. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portion and remove the 3M paper entirely. Next, smooth out the surface of the skin, applying pressure around the thin bezels. Finally, peel off the screen from the tab cutout. If you feel the inner edge of the screen is sharp, simply use your microfiber to smooth it down. Done. If you have any questions, you know how to reach us.